the way Aaron always saw it is that programming is magic, right? You can accomplish these things that normal humans can't by being able to program. So if you had magical powers, would you use them for good or to make you mountains of cash? Schwartz was inspired by one of the visionaries he had met as a child, the man who had invented the World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee. In the 1990s, Berners-Lee was arguably sitting on one of the most lucrative inventions of the 20th century. But instead of profiting from the invention of the World Wide Web, he gave it away for free. It is the only reason the World Wide Web exists today. Aaron is certainly deeply influenced by Tim. Tim is certainly a very prominent early internet genius who doesn't in any sense cash out. He's not at all interested in how he's going to figure out how to make a billion dollars. People would have seen, ah, oh, there's money to be made there. So there would, be lots of, there would have been lots of little webs instead of one big one. And uh, one little web and lots of little webs doesn't work because you can't follow links from one to the other. You know, you had to have the, the critical mass for this thing was the entire planet. So it's not going to work unless the whole planet can get on board. I mean, I, you know, feel very strongly that it's not enough to just live in the world as it is, to just kind of take what you're given and, you know, follow the things that adults told you to do and that, you know, your parents told you to do and that society tells you to do. I think you should always be questioning, you know, I take this very scientific attitude that everything you've learned is just provisional, that, you know, it's always open to recantation or refutation or questioning. And I think the same applies to society. Once I realized that there were real serious problems, fundamental problems that I could do something to address, I didn't see a way to, to forget that. I didn't oh. see a way not to.